Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have quite a few little small and kind of cool PlayStation 5 updates going on over here. We actually have a brand new now internal app update coming over here from the PlayStation itself. It's also very nice to go and see for things like TikToks, YouTube shorts, tweets, and Instagram reels and all of that. And as well, anyone who likes kind of the idea of doing and making content, especially when it comes to their PlayStation consoles. And as well, we have some other various kind of cool updates where some pretty cool cult classics back in the day are actually now coming into the PlayStation 5 and some other general app updates too. Now we've had a little bit more of a chiller news cycle day which is totally fun but as well we're still kind of going and showcasing off these kind of cool little nifty features that I myself actually might go and download and utilize at least in my own opinion. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X or $500 giveaway. We'll be ending that very very soon so make sure you guys get your last minute subscriptions on in Twitter and Twitch room down below too as well in case you guys want to follow for bonus giveaway entries we also have the Target and Amazon links down below and let's dive into the video so very first and foremost we have some very nifty things coming out over here first thing is in regards now to the share factory now if you guys don't know I'm gonna actually probably go and showcase up some of these because they're actually kind of you know and I honestly been kind of fun is basically share factory is a brand new PlayStation in like the actual console app itself that's essentially a, like a Windows Movie Maker, TikTok Maker, short editor, or whatever you guys want to go and call it. So we actually to go and see that PlayStation has now pushed more updates over here for the new Share Factory update for the studio that actually did go hit the PlayStation 5 not too long ago. Now, the reason we're going to talk about this is I kind of feel like I've been seeing this pop up more and more and more and some folks actually utilize it, which is kind of funny because some of the tweets are like, yo, is anyone ever going to actually use this at the end of the day? But you guys can kind of go and see now they have brand new things with creator packs, uh, basically game bits, enhanced editing tools, which I want to talk about more on that one, and more. So basically what this is, if it's like just a random built-in uh, like app editor, or if you guys ever go and play, say, like, play, 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 like, Fortnite, Apex, or Call of Duty, or whatever, you get a really good clip, you get a really good moment, you get a really cool little video, meme, glitch, or whatever, then you can essentially go and save that same file footage, and then essentially go use that same stuff to then go and edit internally inside, like, the console, to then create, like, funny clips, edits, add music to it, and everything all in between. Now, I think this is always kind of a cool thing, but... At least in my mind, because I definitely want to do a lot more YouTube shorts on my channel to sometimes calm down some like the more frivolous videos, but as well also sometimes I have really funny Twitch moments or even highlights of me playing games, bugs, or whatever it may go and be. And basically, if you guys ever want to download this, you basically just go to the Share Factory Studio, add it to your library for free, and you have a chance to add it on in. Now, a big thing to note is that you can basically go and change anything you want. Like, some folks are saying, like, hey, look, I made this video over here entirely through the Share Factory. This is kind of going through, like, their uh, Ghost of Tsushima, I believe, gameplay, and it kind of goes and highlights and showcases what you could in theory go and do now this is just some random person up here up on twitter as you guys can kind of see as they're playing up here and go so she goes to Tsushima. you can see like some of the details and cool like elements and effects and little side things that they're kind of throwing on in over here all throughout their game as they're kind of just doing these cool sequences of events and basically making these cool like little things now you can also make these clips even shorter say for tiktok youtube shorts instagram reels and everything with this but it's kind of funny because a lot of folks are actually generally liking it but the thing is that some folks that are more kind of maybe in depth with the editing process, use like Resolve or Premiere or, you know, I know any one thing you guys might go and use. Some folks are like, well, I'd rather just use that. But this might just be really nice for someone who just wants to share it with their friends or want to share it maybe with like their, you know, I don't know, family or just make really easy casual TikToks or really easy casual things on Facebook to go and show that we're not there. And it's kind of funny, too, because all the comments are like, hey, like either one. Why has, like, anyone actually legitimately used this? Like, is this, like, an actual real service? This is actually what some people like. But as well, some folks are also going to be like, yeah, I actually want this. I want to see even more updates. Like, things like undo buttons. I want to have more different shares. Funny enough, love this update, too, as well. So it's funny because it's just cool. Like, it's cool to go and see that we're seeing basically PlayStation take a better approach towards content creators, where they want people out here to go and make content. They want to make clips. They want people doing things on like the God of War games and basically being like, hey, look at how cool this game is. Look at how funny this glitch is. Look at how like goofy this huge like epic monologue is. Look at my Fortnite gameplay or whatever and throw it at either on their PlayStation social media, like, you know, where their friends can go and see the clips and edits and all the effort, or obviously go and put that on say TikTok, put it on YouTube, put it on, show it on Twitter or whatever it might go and be. So it's always kind of a little nifty idea. And it's also cool to see people actually utilizing this too as well. So as we mentioned too, they have different things now where they have things like, you know, the, these bits, hot bits, fresh bits, game bits, etc. 
and they have social things to add like memes and other various things with it. So just my kind of general question for the audience over here. Now, this is kind of a smaller, kind of more niche PlayStation update. As a content creator, I think it's cool. Do you guys like this? Do you guys think it's nifty? Is this something you guys appreciate and actually would want to use in the first place? Or not really? But basically, I just had some nice brand new updated features, brand new overlays, fresh asset packs, and other different types of tools. Just a lot of big things, too, as well, tied on in. So, pretty, pretty cool, pretty nice little small update. But I think it's cool to see either way. Now, for other villagers kind of updates, too, we are finally now seeing the next big rollouts over here for all these next gen streaming softwares for some odd reason took a very long time for the ps4 to ps5 apps actually getting updated and changed but now we finally do know that paramount plus is now basically getting their partnership in line with sony and they are going to start streaming to the playstation 5 here in the united states it's always very nice to see. I think we also just recently had the Disney Plus update and just kind of having more, like, you know, 2022 to almost 2023 features, like, at our consoles. Like, we need to have our own native PS5 apps, and the fact that we don't is kind of almost somewhat surprising. So, basically, for those who are looking to streamline your spaghetti on set-top boxes, Paramount Plus is now streaming to the PS5 in the United States, while the new service itself is not new. It's one of the most recent additions to the ever-growing content cocktail, offering exclusive series like Yellowstone, the Halo TV show, and all the other ones too as well. So it's kind of cool because it's not like we've still been having a few of these streaming platforms that are, for some odd reason, still just using the PlayStation 4 version. Not 100% sure why it's taking so long, because we've had the console now going into year three. And it just doesn't really make sense, but at least we are seeing the things like the Spotify app, going to PS5, Disney Plus, going to PS5, and Paramount as well, going to PS5. So, at least we are seeing more updates with this. Now, last but not least, we have a very, very nifty game, which is a PS2 cult classic, which is now, funny enough, coming back to the PS5, now this February. Now, we've had a little bit of, I guess, a little bit of a lighter news day, but I've actually heard of this, which I believe is called Fontavision before. It's always nice to see. So, basically, the PS2 was the best-selling PlayStation console to date for a few different reasons. The biggest is that many bought it primarily as a DVD player. However, it had one of the greatest libraries of all time. Unfortunately, many games and series from this generation have been dormant, and some of those big games also include Sly, Cooper, which I will always go and say in my videos, I would love a remake, remaster, new iteration of it, whatever it might go and be, give it the God of War treatment so I could go and play it, please. I would love that so, 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 so much. But one of the big games is actually Fontavision, which I've actually heard of this before. Let me know if you guys have down below. So this week... Japan-based studio Kazuo Mashiya announced Fantavision 2020X for both the PS5 and PlayStation VR 2, which also nice to see even more PlayStation VR 2 in the news. We had one of those big press releases and discussions involving it as of not too long ago. You know, from that big Sony leak that was talking about the PlayStation 5 Slim, which we made a video on this weekend if you guys want to check that on out. So basically, as of right now, it is still sadly no word on the PS4 version, but there is at least rewards of an actual like release date, which is February 22nd, 2023. So if you guys have never actually seen this one too, they have a little bit of their release date over here. I'll just make sure it's muted for DMCA wise. But like it's kind of like a rhythm, rhythmic type game. I don't really know how to explain it well. Um, I'm sure if you guys have seen like those were like persona type games or even played games, you know, like Guitar Hero or you know, Osu, stuff like that. Uh, you guys can kind of go and see this kind of a um, very nifty game. Now, this is very cult and very niche, but it's kind of cool to always see these old school style games kind of running through. I don't know, it's just like nice little rhythm games. It's good on the eyes, it's good on the visuals. You like having a chance to see this type of stuff, you know, at the end of the day, now that are wrong with that. But basically, it was actually owned by an old prior Japan studio. It was actually published by Sony, and it said that Sony has no involvement in its return, as far as we can tell. So it means we actually somehow don't have the rights, and someone else is making the game and remade too as well. And it was also released in 2002, and also coming to mobile devices in 2003. Although it wasn't really that good rating-wise, we'll have to see how the new new iterations, and all this kind of goes. Now, when it comes to things like Beat Saber, etc., have been very, very popular when it comes to games in general, so this might be a Sony's individual take on, like, a Beat Saber workaround or something in between. But it's kind of cool to see these little random, weird PlayStation updates. Nothing majorly new in the news today, so I'll just let you guys know on that. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or $500 cash giveaway. You have to pick and choose. Twitter and Twitch room down below. You have the Amazon links and Target links too. And of course, I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.